too long now, we have treated our own oceans as a forgotten frontier. It's time to change that because our oceans have an incredible amount of wealth and resources, and they truly, truly are uh, a very fruitful frontier. Mapping the entire ocean floor, it's a big job, but experts are hoping to have it done by 2030, with one fifth of the task already completed. The Seabed 2030 project was launched in 2017. It's a collaboration between Japan's philanthropic Nippon Foundation and JEBCO. At its starting point, only 6% of the oceans had been mapped. We are in 2018, and it perhaps might surprise you to know that we know the surface of the Moon and Mars much better than 70% of our own planet. The oceans are not even mapped properly. So why is mapping the ocean floor such an important task? A complete map will help scientists understand fundamental processes like ocean circulation patterns, weather systems, sea level rise, tsunami wave propagation and climate change. Not only that, but given that 3 billion people rely on fish as a source of protein, a deeper understanding of the seafloor can strengthen our understanding of marine ecosystems and marine life for the benefit of our current and future food supply. To help bridge this knowledge gap, the project has drawn on the experience of some 40 international organisations and networks spread across more than 50 countries. But we stand for the sustainable use of ocean resources and there's unanimity within the scientific and the mapping community that a map is essential. I'll also say this, that mistakes have been made perhaps on land and we shouldn't be making those same mistakes when it comes to the preservation of ocean resources. Whatever we do must be done in a sustainable, responsible fashion and that is our appeal. The process, which has an estimated cost of $3 billion, partly involves retrieving data from government, academia and commercial sources. The project's new director, Jamie McMichael Phillips, who took over in 2019, told Reuters that the initiative had already been gifted hundreds of thousands of square miles of data, which would have cost tens of millions of dollars to acquire themselves. 25,000 square miles worth of data was obtained from just two Fugro ships. But McMichael Phillips said there was still a long way to go, with around 113 million square miles of ocean floor still unmapped.